Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. Because I'm the hurt child. Became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel light. Like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. Okay. So, I made a commitment to follow up uh, about our last conversation. Mm -hmm. So, I'm happy to go wherever you'd like to go in this call, but I just yeah. want to... I know. I, off, I have... Offer that. Yeah, I... We, we may end up there, but there is okay. something more urgent. That's right. Uh, last time it was urgent. Last time that type thing was urgent. This time there's something else that's urgent, and they're probably very much related. Because mm -hmm. it seems like everything goes goes back to the very similar exiles. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. So. I will have to fill you in a little, just to set the scene for myself, okay? It's not a story, it's setting the scene because it's here and now, it's not an old story. Okay. Uh, I normally ask, you know, my first question is usually, what parts <sighs> would you like to get to know or change your relationship with? So yes. I, sorry, I skipped that, but you're welcome to start I, I Well, the parts that are coming up, I mm -hmm. really, really want to change the relationship with. Okay. And I want to be able to accept all of them. Mm -hmm. Because that's the only way I can... Um, I don't know how to, how to put it. Only way I can be a way that's good for me. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I'm because, all for it. Yeah. So, so, okay, so the, the situation is this. Okay, so I have kind of briefly told you about my, quote, special friend who I met this summer. Yes. And um, he's a beautiful person. I mean, he's caring... He's loving, he's understanding, he's a lot of things. He's also a hot shot. Hot shot. Hot shot in the way mm -hmm. that he has a huge, uh, how huge, I don't know, but as to me it seems huge. A very, very big social network of mm -hmm. pretty, highly competent and, you know, well-educated, very well-educated people. And this network he shares with his former wife. 
They, okay. they, they, they divorced pretty recent. It's, I think it's only been about six months. And she, and he has two incredibly brilliant young, young adult children. Well, mm-hmm. I had to throw that in there too. Um, it, so the crux of it is, is that I only have access to a very little part of his life. And he knows that because I told him yesterday. I mean, it was, I, I didn't tell him. I asked him a question and he answered me. Um, because at this moment in his life, he is not ready to is I mean, even for me to be it, present, because can, can you? Um, it, it got it. It got okay. choppy. Okay. At this he's, moment, he he's not he's, ready to what? He's not ready to include me in this in this social network. Yes, that okay. he kind of shares with his wife and mm-hmm. with a lot of other. Well, not his wife, the ex-wife. If it was mm-hmm. his wife, I wouldn't be with him. Um, and. I asked him yesterday and he has, and I, I knew it, but I just wanted to hear, hear him say it. And he's very open. So he, he gave me a, you know, I understand his reasoning. You know, my mind understands his reasoning. And I respect it, in, at least in some ways. And I may have done the same thing. I don't know what I would have done. But you know, it's, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't sound unreasonable in, mm-hmm. in, in this, because everything, but, so intellectually and adult like I can understand it but feeling wise I'm very hurt. Yes. And that's where I want to go. It's okay. that's where I want to go. Yeah, to the hurt parts. Because what comes up in me so so you know it's like when when I so I visit I visit him several times. He hasn't he hasn't been visiting me yet, but he's coming in a couple of weeks because I live with I live with a person in a one bedroom apartment and he lives alone. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. you know it's all makes sense, right? But anyway, so when I visit him, you know he clears his calendar, right? Mm-hmm. So we are together all the time, and it's that I, mean, yeah, I met one of his friends, and that's a friend that's outside that professional that network his wife his ex-wife doesn't like his friends you know? <laughs> but this is his best friend but anyway so this friend i've met but otherwise you know he, he, he you know if he has if he has a social function there hasn't been many there's only been a couple but then he goes and then i'm alone mm-hmm. in the apartment uh-huh. and as an exception that's fine but as a rule it may not be fine, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know if this will change. I don't know how, if it will change or fast it will change, but that doesn't really matter because where I want to go is what it, what it currently brings up in me. Yes. That's Hurt. where I want to go, yeah. Hurt parts. Because what I, f- I go right in where I'm not acceptable, uh, there's something wrong with me. And he, I don't think he thinks any of that, but that's where I go, right? So that doesn't really matter what he thinks at this point. I go, it's not, I'm not acceptable. It's something wrong with me. I'm ugly. Mm-hmm. I'm old. Mm-hmm. I'm unlovable. I go mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. And of course, okay. I, I don't want to throw all that at him because this is long before his time, right? <laughs> He doesn't deserve me throwing that, you know, throwing the kitchen sink at him that way. But I still have to be true to my own feelings and, and find a, uh, you know, that, yeah. Okay. So I hear the part that says, I'm not acceptable, something wrong with me. Mm-hmm. Unlovable. Unlovable. And I just want... To let it know that it's welcome. Yeah. It is welcome. Yes. As are the the other parts. 
Like the one that doesn't want to throw the kitchen sink at him. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel he doesn't deserve that, you know. Um, he, he deserves, I mean, if it's, well, it doesn't, it doesn't, you can talk about, what he, we, we can just put that aside, what he deserves and not deserves. Because, you know, I, um, if it is, what he deserves, if we are going to have a relationship, is that I can be myself with him. Right. That's what he deserves. And that I don't put up fences and feel because I feel threatened. But anyway, so going even deeper than that is that, and I would feel I've had like four days where I've been kind of be kind of pretty miserable. I've had tears in my eyes most of the time. It was because I couldn't figure out what this was about until yesterday when I figured out it was because of I was only was able to, there was, there was a big problem. Most of his life it kind of was excluding me from. I'm sorry, yesterday you figured out what? Yesterday I kind of figured out what it was, what it was. What it was about, it, yeah. What it was about, because I've been living in kind of in, in, in a mess for since Thursday. And mm -hmm. I, I don't even need to tell you this, but I nope. was, I was, I was so angry. I was out walking and then I twisted my ankle really bad. Mm -hmm. And my right foot became twice as big as my left. And I looked up in the sky and I said, God is punishing me for wanting more than I can get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was where I was. Yeah. But yeah. No running for you, huh? Not run, no running. I wasn't even running. I was walking. It was, it was raining. I was. Yeah, but I mean, after that. You, after that, lost, after that. No running. No, no running for me. No running for me, which also made me feel, made me feel sorry for myself. Yeah. But. Okay. But maybe all this is kind of good at the end. It's not good, but it, you know, it, it made me kind of stop and just go inside myself and kind of. Where am I, right? Yes. So that, yep. so maybe it's all for, for a reason. It, yeah. it, it just had to slow down. Something had to slow me down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you've um, slowed down. You've noticed uh, the parts that are hurt. And I know what I also, what I noticed, there is this, there is this, oh, it's so huge. There is this huge need or longing or want to be loved. It's so big. It's so big. Mm -hmm. And it's so teary. I mean, it's kind of, you know, the tears come. And it's like, it's like, and it's, of course, it's really young. Okay. Yeah. And is that the same part that also thinks it's not acceptable? Yeah, well, okay. they are connected because that part that really she just wants to be loved and be recognized. Mm -hmm. That part, or maybe it's another part, but at least that family of parts mm -hmm. okay. knows that or have experienced that asking for it will be ridiculed. Who are you asking for that? Asking for something you can't get. Who do you think you are? You're not mm -hmm. worthy. You know, you can't ask for it. It brings, so this part is connected to a part that is this, this is what I want, but it's connected to, mm -mm, but I cannot ask for it because I'm not worthy of it and I won't get it. And if I ask for it, I ask for more than I can get. And then I'm being ridiculed and you, or humiliated or shamed. Okay. 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 We can go there. So that's, and yeah. Okay. So the first step is to find those parts in or around your body, the sensations that come up. Just when there's a part. Simple tea. 
So when there's a part saying I'm not acceptable. Ah. Oh. Or the one longing to be loved. Mm-hmm. So the longing to be loved, it's almost like, gosh, it's a deep well. It just kind of has echoes like this throat deep down. Go to the bottom. Yeah. Go to the bottom of that well. Yeah. How do you feel towards that deep well? I feel okay. So it's, it's not one feeling. There are multiple. All right, and let's hear them. One is, ah, I wish I could have it. I wish you could have it. It's me. Mm-hmm. Right? I wish I could have it. Mm-hmm. I wish I could just fill up that well with love. With love. Okay. What else? What else? What other feelings? And then do you there, have are that part? Is, there are other parts. The other feelings are. It's too big. It can never be filled up. I will. Uh, this hollow thing inside me will always be there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can't be filled. And feeling hopeless. And then it's scary. It's mm-hmm. like it's if I. It's like it's it's too much. It it will swallow me up. It in a way yeah. because the, the want is so big that it if I really let myself feel it, it will totally overpower me. Right. Okay. And oh. then mm-hmm. there is. Uh, I don't know if the, there are those feelings that, see, like I just said, who do you think you are having such a well and you think it can ever be filled up? You don't even deserve that. All right. Know? Okay. You, you, you want too much. You want too much. You know, calm down, calm down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm hearing it can't be filled. Mm. That part feels like it's kind of hopeless. Mm. A part that's worried about it's swallowing you up. Yeah. And then another part that says, who do you think you are? You you want too much. Mm-hmm. I want too much. Okay. Those parts are all welcome. They're all welcome. I'm I'm not sure, but it seems like I am at this moment. Closest to two of them. Mm-hmm. And one is the one that feels, oh, that I really want, that I really want. And then it's the one that's saying, come on, you're asking for too much. You're asking okay. For too much. Okay. So, and yeah, mm-hmm. now just, and that one, the second one is very, mm-hmm. I realize right now it's very much related to that big sister guilt. I yes. want too much. Okay. Yeah, so let them all know that you see them. And maybe we can start with the one who says you want too much. I want too much. Yeah. That goes all the way back. You know, the picture that came up, and I've told mm-hmm. you the stories. It's not it's not something that I didn't know. But the picture, but of course, I don't remember. Somebody told me the story. But the picture that came up. It's of this little girl with a big toy car in her hand. <laughs> I want to smash it into her little sister. That's a, that, that was a picture that kind of came up first. I want too much. 
and hitting the little sister because the little sister was getting too much and this oh, little girl wasn't little, getting enough. Yeah, the little sister, what kind of, she suck up all the oxygen. Mm-hmm. And how old is the little girl hitting she's, her sister? She, well, she was two years and seven months when she was born. Okay. So she's mm-hmm. probably two years and eight months or something like that. Okay, yes. Yeah. That was, that was the first thing that came. Mm-hmm. And she got the I message want, that that she's wanting too much. I want think too much. She's bad. She's mm-hmm. bad. It's not, right. you know, somebody else. towards her? That little one with a, with a toy car. Uh-huh. Again, there's a mix. Um, I think, well, I feel, I feel I understand her, you Mm -hmm. know? Yes, she was shunted away and I can, I can feel, sort of feel, a sense, sense. I can sense that, that just how robbed she felt. Or robbed. kind of robbed of there was nothing left for her, mm-hmm. and that how cheated she felt. She had so looked forward to getting this little sister, and here she comes, yeah. and then she sucks up all the oxygen. There's nothing left yeah. for her. Yeah. So I, so you know, I feel for her. I just, I. I'm There's, super m- mad at those adults who couldn't have enough energy for two. If you have two children, have enough energy for two, right? Yes. So I'm. So I blame them. You know, I don't mm-hmm. blame her. Hmm. So the one that says you want too much, is it okay with you, um, showing this love for the two-year-old? That's a good question. That that part that says you want too much is I don't know what what kind of how to portray how to kind of describe that feeling, but she's either she's at least struck by her anger. She, no, I think she's more than struck about it. I think she is. I think she judges it. She judges that anger that came up in right. that little girl. Right. She does. Right. She judges that. Right. Okay. How do you feel towards the part that judges the anger? I resent it, I mm-hmm. think. I think I mm-hmm. resent it because I would like to say to that part, I think, at least part of me wants part, part of me wants to say to that part, if it's the whole one, I don't know. But I, at least what I feel right now is that I want to tell that part, come on, don't you see the strength in that? Yeah. Don't you see the life force in that? Mm-hmm. She wants something. She's trying to express it. Don't you yeah. see that? Yeah. Right. Okay. So that part of you really wants to highlight the strength of the little girl and encourage and advocate for her life and energy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See if you can ask that part, the one who's resentful, for space so that you can talk with the one who judges the anger. Mm. 
You know, that's a little hard because then mm-hmm. I feel I'm letting that girl down. You understand, you understand what I mean? It's like if if I don't if I don't tell the part that judges come that judges her. Mm-hmm. Come on, stop judging! Don't you see? Then, then this girl is all alone with the judge. That would be the case if you weren't, if there was no self present. Yeah, you're right. You're right. These parts have to fight each other. Yeah. Because there's no one else around to listen and to negotiate, mediate. So just ask it to notice you. Mm. Yeah, I'll take it. And you can acknowledge that you've seen yeah. how it's how it's fought. Yeah. It's fought the judge. Yeah. But the judge is still judging. Yeah, <laughs> judge is still judging. Mm-hmm. And it's still doing that in 2023. Yeah. Yeah, so you can just ask this part. If it'll give you space to try something different. Yeah. Yeah. And we're yeah. not going to forget about the little girl. No, no. Okay. I think that the resentful part sees me. Oh, yeah, you're bigger than me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And how about the judging ang- anger part? Can you get it to notice you? Yeah, I can't, I, I can feel it. I can sense it. I can't, mm-hmm. it, it's, it's not visual, but yeah. the, I can, I can sense that part. You feeling yeah. curious about it? Yeah. Me too. Let it know that. Yeah, I'm curious about that part. Yeah. I don't know. We're curious, and we'd like to get to know it better. And then you could just ask it what it wants you to know. Well. It's it's a similar story, I think. It that part is feels that it has to protect that girl against herself and her environment. Have to Just to keep her from showing any anger. Have to so yeah, I have to kind of moderate that anger. Mm-hmm. To moderate that anger, mm-hmm. both so the punishment won't be too severe, but also to protect her yes. from feeling the depths of mm. her despair mm-hmm. and want and loneliness and yeah right right does that make sense to you mm-hmm. that does yeah. make sense to me yeah let it know that this yeah. part wants to protect the little girl from punishment and mm-hmm. from the depths of her own despair mm-hmm Can you show it appreciation for that? Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. That that part is a companion throughout. (sighs) 
Because now I'm seeing after the abduction when my little sister became so super aggressive towards me, physically aggressive. And I just had to swallow it. And it was because if I had shown anger in return, same thing with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My despair and also Mm -hmm. the punishment. And it's, I can see many of these now. I can see many of them. I can see whenever they were putting me in the hospital for the second time. Yeah. And you can see how this part yeah. served to prevent you from showing any anger. Yeah, or just a little. Yeah. Right, right. And is and it also, receiving yeah. that appreciation from you? Yeah. Okay. I just, it, it, it's, 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 so what I'm appreciating mo- it most for is how it protected me from seeing my own despair, seeing the depth of it. I saw it, but the depth of it, how deep it really was. That Yeah, that would be a well that you would not want to look into at that age. Ah, oh. no, especially if I didn't have any support. Yeah. You could no. try asking this part what it would rather be doing if it didn't have to work so hard. It didn't have to keep protecting this little girl in that way. Not. Hmm. Or you could ask it to imagine if you could go to the little girl and so, help her with that despair. So what I see, and there's no really no words right now. It is almost like that part is stretch is reaching out its hand. Mm-hmm. That instead of judging, it would rather hold her hand. Hmm. To support her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to be there for her. It doesn't like judging, I think. You can let it know that you see that. You see that it doesn't like having to do that. Yeah. It wants to support her. Yeah, I would rather be there to support her. Help her find her way in the world, you know, like you'll go with her and, Mm -hmm. you know, like having a little lantern and just finding a way, a path, you know, shining some light, holding your hand. And let's just be there. Yeah. And help her discover. And what does it think about your light? your ability to shine light, does it trust that you could go to her? I think so. But I don't know what to do, but I think it's trust that I know that I You don't know what to do when you get there? (laughs) It's fine. We can find out. Yeah. No... I would also want to hold her hand and shine the light and just mm-hmm. be there so she could lean on me. Yeah, maybe you can compare lights with this part. Yeah. This part's really good at 
judging. Well, and you're the a... one who has been able to bring a light to every part that you've met. I think my light is brighter. I think so. Yes, we both have lanterns, but, um, mm -hmm. but my lantern is brighter. Yeah. So is it willing to give you space to go work with that little girl? It's not in, yeah, it is. Right. You ready to do that? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. Do you notice her? Do you see her? What do you, what do you notice about her? Okay. It's almost like I want to see some of the other exiles, right? But let me just have, give, make my mind completely blank. What I see I see something that is shivering. I don't see a person. I see something that is shivering because it's so scared. You let it know that you see it. Mm. <sighs> and you can invite it to notice you. It doesn't have to do anything. Yeah, I think it sees my light and okay. sees my shadow. Yeah, how does it feel about that? Mm. I think it likes to see that light. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. If it feels right, you could get closer. You could ask it if it would feel good for it's almost you. Like, almost like it or she wants to put her hands on the light because she's also very cold. That gets some warmth from the, you know, the outside of the lantern. Yeah, you can just invite her to do that. scared because she is it's it's not the hurricane it's 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 all very subtle but she's totally like this wavering between hopeless there's nothing nobody wants me there's nothing for me to kind of grasping at the straw, the hope I want. Mm -hmm. so, and she goes kind of back and forth. There's kind of no constancy there. And I think that's where the shivering comes from. Because there is one moment you can feel yeah. And there's nothing for me. I'm so scared. How do you feel about just letting her show you more of what that was like for her? Mm. Does it feel like too much? There is, a I think it's, a, there is a small part that says, oh, she's going to overwhelm me. But it's not, it's, it's kind of, like just a little, a, just acknowledge in, in, it. Yeah, it's kind of a little thing that kind of is there saying yeah, just that. A, just acknowledge it. Let it know that you see it, you feel it. Yeah. And then you can ask the little girl not to overwhelm you. I don't think she can. I don't 
think she will overwhelm. Can I don't think she will overwhelm me. But it's <sighs> if she goes there, if she really tries, she might not even go the whole way. Well, that might even be too much for her. She doesn't have to do anything. But it's... It, it's so precarious. It's like her. It's like she's in such a precarious situation. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, the camel's hair could break any moment and then she would just spiral down, down, down. Just let her know that you're getting that. And how hard that was for her. <sighs> let her know that she doesn't have to be alone. And that she can show you what she wants to show you without causing you to disappear. Yeah. It's fully delight. We're pretty close, actually. It feels like there's just some inches between us right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just let her know you really want to understand her. And, you know, she's kind of holding herself together like a electric wire you know she's this thin little electric wire so afraid of snapping mm -hmm. and she has big wants Gosh, she has big ones. Are you okay with her showing you her big ones? Mm -hmm. I think so. The parts that are that would judge that are far away. You have them somewhere else. Yeah, judging yeah, part is, is the judging part is, is is I think the judging part is trusting me right now. Yeah, let her know she can show you any of her ones as big as they are. <sighs> She wants love. She just wants love. She just wants love with no strings attached. Just how is it for you and for her to just be in this space where she can share that with you. For her? For her, I think, I mean, it's not good, good, like pleasant good, but it's, I think it's kind of a little relief to kind of Feel it without being shut down. Yeah. Just just having the feeling without mm -hmm. without being shut down. Yeah. And not being condemned and not tipping over into the place where there absolutely is no love. Right. For me. funny it's not I just feel this vastness it's not scary vastness it actually has some warmth to it not very hot kind of lukewarm vastness 
to being with her in that feeling or in that want. Maybe it's a relief for me too. I mean, it's heartbreaking in a way. Yeah. But it, so it's together. Right. You're both sitting in this want and nothing is happening and nothing bad is happening. Right. And your vastness is big enough to contain her big ones. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's even, you know, even lukewarm. Sounds nice. Yeah. It's... Just, just sitting and sinking into that want without any judgment. Not even thinking about whether she's receiving it or not. Right, she doesn't have to evaluate. Is yeah. this, yeah. Is it, is, am I getting it? Am I getting yeah, in, in, right. Is my well being filled up? No, it's just sitting in the want. Uh-huh. Sitting in an un- in the want and being allowed to just sit in the want. Mm-hmm. It's peaceful. Yeah. It's good for her to want. Yeah. Kind of like that part was saying before about that being part of who she is. It, part of her aliveness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and also, all the other stuff too, the despair, the anger, all those parts of her mm-hmm. are normal and there for a reason. And you can provide space. You have enough space for all of them. so that she doesn't have to hold herself together in that way. She doesn't have to be this wire, always uh, expecting to be knocked down or cut it to or whatever. She feel like you understand her? Yeah. Is there more that she wants to show you about her experience? Yeah, I mean, it's our experience. <sighs> Always keeping yourself small. <sighs> Always try to be two steps ahead. To anticipate the reaction before she even asks for something. So, in- an incredible machinery of, you know, it's like. Surveilling the world, mm-hmm. surveil, surveil, surveil. What can I say? Oh, I can't say that. Come to here comes the punishment. Let me duck. Oh. Oh. oh, I showed too much. No, I'm guilty. 
Yeah. Oh, I want it too much. I'm guilty. I want yeah. everything. I want everything. Yeah. Well, you can't want everything. Yeah. And you're taking it's, that it, in? You're just... Yeah. Yeah. It's that... Um, it's that incredible tension between who she is or what she wants. And she's not even saying I need to get everything I want. <laughs> she's saying I want. <laughs> it's, it's this incredible tension between her, her wants, her anger, Her despair. need for recognition, her despair. Her life mm-hmm. force. And, and this tension between that and what is allowed and what's tolerated. And, and, does she, and does she trust you to help her with that? With all of that? Most of it, Mm -hmm. I think, but all of it, she is, I think she is, she is hesitant, Mm -hmm. she is hesitant that if it all come out, then mm-hmm. I will also judge her. I will guilt trip her. Yeah, okay. And she's had that experience of parts that yeah. judge her and guilt trip her. So yeah. how would how would it feel for both of you to work with some of it? It doesn't have to be all. To see what you can help her with now and what she will trust you to help her with now. Yeah, I think that check with her. She's willing to give it a try. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't trust. I will. She trusts that I won't, you know, jump on her right away. Mm-hmm. It's it's you're, more you're, like you're a vast warmth. I'm a vast warmth. We're yeah. sitting here. Yeah. And you can keep an eye out for parts that might want to jump on her. Mm. Oh yeah, there are many parts that's outside that warmth. Right. right. I can't I can kind of see the sitting there. Right. Ready to, ready yeah. to uh, and, you, and you might, you know, look back at them and let them yeah. know that you see them and that you appreciate yeah. them allowing you this space. Ah. I saw some cartoon figures. I don't know, mm-hmm. you, know you know, kind of weird animals you know, sitting there with their teeth. <laughs> Get you. Ah, oh, my goodness. Mm. So one way you can help her is by offering yeah. to go back into her time. Anywhere she would like, any scene that she would like. And to be there for her in the way that she needed someone. Mm. And if she doesn't want to do that, that's fine too. Yeah, they're just, they're kind of, they're competing. Um, <laughs> the ones, mm-hmm. <laughs> there are so many of them. There's so many of them. Um, just do when, one at a time. When was she most vulnerable? When, 
or when will she really learn? Because what what is most that's hard to hard to measure. You can let her know that you you can make time to do all of them. Yeah. We might not do that in this conversation, but. Oh. Yeah, just as a trial run, she could pick one. And you go back there with her. I think go. I don't remember when. I just remember when my, I don't remember a specific episode. Let me just try one. I don't remember a specific episode, but I remember when when my sister started being so aggressive. She was pinching me and mm -hmm. pulling my hair mm -hmm. and biting me and screaming at me. And I remember I was making her lunch because I was seven, so I made lunch for myself and her because nobody else did. And she didn't want to eat the food because I was poisonous. I made her the food. Mm -hmm. And what did she need then? What did she need from someone at that time? Th that, that, she's, that little girl, she's, she's six and seven. And she's like, She's so, she has, she has been told that it's her fault, right? Mm -hmm. Because of that, that, that toy truck or toy car. I don't think it was a truck. I think it was a sedan. It doesn't matter. Because of that car, toy car, she's been told that it was her fault. But she's like, in Netherlands, it's like, I, I can't do anything. Everything I do is wrong. What is she nobody, need? Oh, she just needs a big, big lap and a big hug and a place to just cry yeah. her heart off. Okay, yeah, so go back into her time and provide that for her. She just needs to be able to just cry and cry mm -hmm. and also be angry and just say, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, it's not my fault, what's happening? I don't understand anything, everything yeah. is... The world is everything is yeah what what am i really this monster yeah and you can let her be angry back uh, in that time with you in a way that's yeah. safe yeah she can okay. be angry she can, yeah let her do that i mean she can hit a little you know a little whatever uh fist <laughs> she can mm -hmm. just hit her fist and she can just cry and she can scream she can but it's safe. I just want to hold her. Say, you, you okay? You okay? You okay? How's she like that? Oh, she needs a lot of that. She needs a lot of that. Yeah. Are there a lot of times and scenes that she could use? You going back and being there for her in that way? And then, I think the first time she, they put me in the hospital, her in the hospital, she didn't really realize what was happening. But the second time she knew. What did she need from someone? At that oh, time? she just needs to be held again. Say, yeah. I don't want, I don't want, yeah. I don't want. Will you do that for her? Yes. Just go there now and do that? Not, you're not alone. Right. You're so right. alone. So kind of shunted away. Ah, she was untouchable. She was shunted away. Mm -hmm. She felt unlovable. Ah, oh, and then of course, little sister got to be home, which wasn't very great either. But she didn't think that about that. 
but you know, she was the one who had to go. And uh, she has you to go back there with her? Yes, she has me now. Yes. I'm curious, did we get away from a two-year-old part to be with a six-year-old? We did. Okay. But we can go back to the two-year-old too, which all <laughs> started. She needs me too. See, your call. I, yeah. You know, the thing is, I have feelings related to those that, that six-year-old and a seven-year-old. Mm-hmm. The two-year-old, of course, you she's so young. You haven't worked with as much. I haven't worked with as much, so I can see her. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she's so much younger, too, that those feelings are... Yeah, but she probably needs me as much. Is the six-year-old okay with you going back to the two-year-old? Yeah. Okay. What's the two-year-old need from you? Does she need you to revisit any times with her? The two-year-old needs to be recognized. Yeah. The the two-year-old needs to be told that she's cute. (laughs) Yeah? She needs to be... You do that for her? Yeah. She needs to be told that she's adorable. She needs and to be to- and lovable. She needs to be hugged and she needs to see people recognize her and yeah. recognize what she's doing because a two year old does amazing lot of stuff. Are you doing that for her? You know, a two year old might be able to hold a pencil or maybe able to, you know, draw something or maybe able are, to. Are you doing that for her? Yeah, eat by okay. yourself. That's right. And you can be there and let her eat by herself in a place that's safe. Yeah, and she needs to be shown how amazing she is, how lovable yeah. she is. Yeah. Not just amazing, but that she's lovable as she is, but that she's right. also amazing. Yeah, both. <laughs> and she and you know, it's not like she it's only lovable because she's amazing. She's lovable, period. She's yeah. also amazing. I, I get it. I get it. She she is both. <laughs> yeah. Is she feeling that from you? Because she's two or three. She's she's exploring the world. Is she feeling that love from you? Yes. Ah. Does she have anywhere that she wants you to go? with her back in in her time or would she like to come and join you in your time in (sighs) any place any place that she would like How does a two-year-old want, or two or three-year-old want? Where does she want to go? You can just sit with her and let her decide. It can be anywhere. <sighs> Anytime. <sighs> and if she's not ready, that's fine too. She wants... It's more... She wants to be in a... She wants to be in a place where she gets attention. Yeah. She wants attention. Mm-hmm. She wants to be heard. She wants to be seen. She wants to be held. She wants to be let go. Mm-hmm. She wants to be able to just turn around and see that I'm still there. We can yeah. just go. We yeah. can just go. Yeah. But I, I will be there. She doesn't want to go too far, but she wants to be able to let go also. Mm -hmm. She wants to be allowed to explore. Mm -hmm. She wants to be able to wonder. She wants to be allowed to be angry and sad. Uh Okay. And happy. Can Can you set that place up for her? And it can be hers. 
And she can have all of those things you just listed, all of those experiences there. <laughs> it's it's weird. I was going to build her a house, but then I see a vegetable. I see I see a garden. I kind of mm-hmm. you know you, you you know you like you know this little city garden, little vegetable and, and you know flower gardens. That's where my oh, two year old ended up. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Little vegetable that's... garden with tomatoes and blueberries that were yeah warm no, no, from the see. sun. Yeah, and then there are some you know flowers growing you know that you know mm-hmm. like orange flowers growing up depending what do you call those that, that, that they grow on you put out these long, long stakes in so they can grow against something whatever that is yeah that 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 it's funny because i'm going to build a this playhouse you know mm-hmm. <laughs> and then suddenly you see this this, this vegetable garden with a little fence around it mm-hmm. lots of exploring but not mm-hmm. too far. Not too far. You know, she can touch the mud, you know. She can, you yeah. know, she can get her hands, because it's soft, you know. It's, mm-hmm. Get her hands dirty. She can see a little warm, you know. She's not afraid of worms. You know, she's just looking at them, you know. She can even pet a little warm with her finger, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and blueberries. Oh, yeah, she can pick the blueberries. And she can have mm-hmm. a big blueberry in her mouth. She can kind of pull up some carrots, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's, and then she's looking up and saying, oh, and she wants to tell me about it. And she wants to show me how she, amazing all this is. Yeah, she sees that you're still there. Yeah, I'm still there. Yeah. If it feels right, you could ask her where in her body she's carrying some of those burdens and beliefs about being unlovable. about her once not being okay, about having to surveil. Oh. I think it's the whole front of my torso. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, you know, it's the center is around my belly button. That's yeah, where it how, really sinks in. But it's the whole yeah. front of my torso. Yeah, and how would you like to give those up? Mm. Yeah, so she can have a soft torso again, and it's not this kind of mm-hmm. really hard, hard one full of instruments that kind of beep, 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 beep. Hmm. Again, I'm surprised. I don't know if this is what she wants. But I saw... a hole in the foundation of a building, like a big mouse hole. Mm -hmm. And it's like she wants to push it all in there. Great. Yeah, and help her out with that? Yeah, she wants just to push it in there. Yeah, tell her to do it until it's all out. And it seems like there's a vast space inside there. Mm -hmm. Because it's, she doesn't feel it's kind of, that it's crowded or that it's, that it's filled up. Despair. Her anger. Does she want to give some of that up? Yeah. But not all her anger I think she wants to give up. But that yes. but that anger that is tied to despair. That right. anger that is tied to 
there's nothing there mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. I have to be angry because if I'm not angry, I'll die. She said earlier she might not be ready to give everything up, so it's fine. So to know that you can come back here and you can keep doing this with her, or doing whatever she wants. I think what she really wants to give up. Yeah, is the belief that There really isn't anything there for her. She doesn't deserve it. There isn't anything there for her. And but this is kind of a contradiction, but there are so many contradictions anyway. The mistrust that the little that's there, she just have to protect so intensely. Right. Yeah. Because you have to have this surveillance apparatus. Right. Yeah. So there's a belief that there's very little there. Yeah. And that and that she has to protect it so intensely. She wants she wish she could just put that, that whole that surveillance apparatus with you know those those cords. Yeah. They are long. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. those, that's a lot of cords there. Yeah, she, she could just put me. all those cords. She doesn't want she, those cords. She can. She can. Just help her out with that. She doesn't want all those cords. Mm-hmm. She doesn't want those cords. Those blinking lights. Those knives kind of picking into her. Sometimes really hurting. <laughs> um. It's a torture chamber, torture chamber. Mm-hmm. Surveillance and torture at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she doesn't need all that in this place um, with you. No, she doesn't need all that. Because the vegetable garden is safe. I'm guarding it. And because you see how amazing she is and how yeah. lovable she is. Yeah, <laughs> and she's very cute. Mm-hmm. And she's so a wonder. Right. She's just at the blueberry, how can a little berry be so <laughs> sweet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so small and so sweet. Uh, yeah, she just wants to explore. She just wants to take in and say, wow. And maybe not everything feels good, but she wants to feel it anyway. Even if she pricks her finger on the, you know, it's a rose bush, right? right? And she pricks her finger right. a little. It's safe with you there. Yeah. She can eat alone. She can be not held. Yeah. Yeah. Will you be able to come back and meet her here? Do you have any concerns or any negotiating or thinking through how to do that with her? Okay, so what came up was that What she's showing me now is kind of her wonder, right? But I have an inkling there is something ferocious, a ferocious appetite there. Yeah? Yeah, there is something that 
in addition to that wonder that <sighs> she wants too much, right? There it comes, right? Yes, there's that part. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. and you've and you've noticed it, and how are you responding to it? <sighs> you could just invite it to notice what you've created with her and see how safe she is with you. Because that she wants that she wants too much. She's afraid that she'll kind of break down the you know, you know, that little fences around that garden mm-hmm. and that she's going mm-hmm. to yeah. then it's going to grow gigantic and yeah. it's gonna trample down the house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's going to want all the blueberries in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and if you if you left her alone, if you never you know, if you never checked in with her yeah, she would then probably who know, do who, that. Who knows what she might do? Mm-hmm. I know. So mm-hmm. that's getting back to that question before. Yeah, exactly. About, can you commit or arrange with these parts that that you can continue showing up for them? Including showing up for the one that says she wants too much and acknowledging it. Okay, so that's hard. I can acknowledge that part. Mm -hmm. I am afraid though, I'm scared. That that yes. part will then take over, and okay. and then that little girl will kind of disappear. Okay, let's acknowledge that that fear. And just ask all these parts, what they need, Mm. what they need from you. Mm. Huh, it seems that what they need, yeah. It seems like what I need is for me to check in with her, to be with her, because if I'm not there, they will have to come as right. to protect her. It's mm-hmm. so what they've been doing all this time. Exactly. Because she didn't have a relationship with self. Yes, yes. And so they'll keep doing what... it if self isn't around for her. Yes. So mm-hmm. that's what they're, that's what they're asking me. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think they really want to come back in that forcefully. No, they said, the judgment Uh, one said it didn't like doing that. No, I didn't like it, yeah. (sighs) Yeah. So if they can trust that I will come back to her and be with her. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what do they need from you? Then then they will go and sit sit in their hammock. Mm -hmm. And what what do they need from you to trust that you'll do that? (sighs) One thing that at least this part seems to need, because you know it's it it will be hard for it to shut up completely. So what it needs is when. When it says, for example, you want too much, Mm -hmm. I acknowledge it Mm -hmm. and say, there you are, Mm -hmm. there you are, I hear you, I'm going to go to the little girl. (sighs) 
or not or so, it, at least no 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 i think i jumped i think i jumped one step too far it, it it needs me to say it needs me to acknowledge it and not mm-hmm. to push it down so it needs me to It needs me to tell it. It needs me to remind it that I was sitting there with a little girl. Mm-hmm in the want and we just sat there and it wasn't scary at all that I can do that again yeah and will you do that again yes I will do that again just go and sit there Mm -hmm. and then see what happens Mm mm-hmm Yeah, I want to be at this big space. I create. I want to be able to create that big space where it's allowed to just want. Mm-hmm. Right, that is safe, and that too much and too little really aren't any concepts that matter because they're not judging it. And we don't have to act on it either. We just need to sit there and, and feel that think, it's safe, that it's yeah. safe to want. And when you think back to the situation you had talked about at the beginning of the call, mm. you talked about being alone in the home when mm. your friend goes to socialize. Yeah, with those big wigs. Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel different if you're checked in with these parts? It does actually. It does. Because Yeah, it feels very different. Mm-hmm. It feels very different. Because right. then I'm enveloping myself in, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, I'm okay. It's okay to want. I'm not alone. Right. You're not unloved. I'm These parts unloved. aren't unloved. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, it's too much, too much. Yeah, no, it's very different. Absolutely very different. Okay. I have one more part I just wanted to check in with. Mm. And it's a six-year-old because Mm. she came up in this conversation and because I said I would follow up at the start of this conversation, should, do you want me to... Bring it up, bring her up at the start of the next one. And can we let her know that we'll get back to her too? Six-year-old at the hospital? What a six-year-old yeah. lost, lost, well, yeah, yes. Wherever yes. she is. Yes. Yeah, the, six, the six-year-old experience a lot, six- and seven-year-old. Those were, those were big years. Mm-hmm. Everything fell apart. Okay. She's on my list. Yeah. Yeah. You can let her know that. Let her know that yeah. you've you've done this work with these other parts. Mm. You haven't forgotten about her. Oh. Oh. <sighs> She's dead. 
I don't have another session with you. Well, we will have to change that if you're up for it. <laughs> I am. Okay. I'll get back to you. Oh, thank you, James. This is this is this is lovely in a you know yeah. you know probably know what I mean. It's not in a kind I of do. <laughs> It's not like you know, like being at a party drinking champagne. That it was, it was lovely, deep. Yeah. It was deep. Yes, thank you for sharing it with me. Thank you, James. Okay, I'll get Bye. back to you about getting on the calendar. Okay. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way. I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Yvonne, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows? That might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube, and they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there. And give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you. <laughs>